Okay, so it's time for a new Unreal Dev Projects video. Um, and I'm looking forward to this. This game is created by the 15 year old Ilknur Mustafa Sade. Um, yeah, I'm, I tried at least. <laughs> um, and he says he has created a side scroller, but it has a little twist to it. It's set in the dark, so you'll have to find your way using lights. I don't think I've seen anything like it. It has 10 levels currently also. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, and the project was mainly to get to know the basics of the engine. So basic functions like HUDs and etc. Uh, and you know, a game created by a 15 year old, that will be awesome almost no matter what it is so let's see and I don't think we've had any side scrollers here yet so that's cool and it's called in dark oh okay so here we have the main menu is this a little loud created by Zaid Digital or perhaps Zade I don't know And yeah, you know, you're gonna you're using this project to learn basic things. So you have a main menu, you know, you have your own title, you have a play and a quit, um, you know, and a, even an animated player. We all know this. This is the Unreal guy, right? And you have controller, keyboard, controls, R restart level, Q quit to main to menu movement ad jump yeah okay so of course i would when you're you know gonna make this a little bit better then i suggest you have like options you know an options button and then put these settings or you know at least this inside of the options part of the menu and surely you know things like create your own character and yeah stuff like that but you know this looks good and I I enjoy the music as well yes let's try first let's see if I actually can quit and it works that's great <laughs> basic functionality needs to work okay so let's begin welcome to the game what what did it say start by moving probably you even have the footstep sounds that great okay so we can see that this is simply uh, a blocked out level so you have not used this project to learn how to you know model things or texture things or whatever so it's just simple lights and you know the unreal guy and so I will mainly focus on the level design here and the playability it's easy to move the guy, so yeah, that's that's good. He can't double jump. Can he double jump? No. Okay, let's move. Try to get to the end of the levels by using the lights. Okay, I enjoy that 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 you know those sentences. You can also use the E key for help lights. Okay. Huh? What was that? <laughs> Good luck, thanks. So, does this take spawn whenever I'm at these points? Yeah. What? But it's only one use per level, so use it carefully. Okay, so I would perhaps, instead of having these at the same points, uh, you know, at points, you should probably show them uh, in sequence and with a little more time span so I get the time to read them okay that wasn't too bad actually but as you can see they overlap so you should make sure that when let's say this one is there then it shouldn't be able to spawn the next text until that one's gone yeah so basic things right 
But other than that, I like it. Ooh, an elevator. Yes, nice. And that was my help light. Awesome. <laughs> Even a loading screen. Cool. Okay, now a new light. The blue lights turn off after you get away from them. Okay. Well, they're probably more like turquoise. Turquoise. Okay, help light. Thank you. Hey, but I like the, you know, the level design. It's easy to get into this. Nice. Short, concise levels. Great. Um, here we go. <laughs> um... Yeah, cool concept, cool concept. But one light per level, that was kind of evil. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> you got spiked. <laughs> sure did. Oh, I got spiked again. <laughs> okay, let's see, I'm gonna try another way. Gonna go down here. Okay, I'm gonna use my help light here. <laughs> yeah, it was fun at least, you know? You don't really need anything more than a simple blocked out level to create something uh, that works, you know? That's actually a good way to see if the gameplay works because uh, when you have you know magnificent graphics and everything is awesome then you might get a little blinded uh, by all the awesomeness and not realize that the gameplay sucks you know but this is real basic platforming and you know it works ah okay <laughs> Uh, is this where I need to use my help light? Yes. So obviously you've learned how to animate simple objects. Turn on and off lights. You know, you can design a level. You have the loading screen. Text showing up. <laughs> Creepiness happening. Ooh. Okay, okay. Cool idea. Yeah, that's a piece of cake. <laughs> I didn't even need to use my extra light. Nice, nice. New light, one time use fading light. These are red and only be used one time, so try to think quick. Okay. So that means I have a new... Oh, I got spiked. Let's fight the game. What? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, I think my sound has stopped working for some reason. Hello? Hello? So, yeah. If my sound stopped working, I would probably just use the camera. I don't know. All my mics seem to just die. That's how that is. Okay, whatever. Ah. Oh. Okay, I see, I see. That's cool, that's cool. Oh! Those spikes, they really hit you quickly, don't they? <laughs> um, okay. This is kind of nasty, actually. <laughs> oh! Okay, okay, that worked, that worked. <laughs> you fell to your demise. <laughs> and this was really entertaining, you know? And I'm starting to learn it. I'm starting to learn it. Let's see here. 
I don't know if I think you should be killed by the spikes merely by touching them, but you know, a lot of games are like that, so I can't blame you. I just think it's unfair. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, 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 let's see. Hello? Lights? I'm gonna use my own. Oh, that was nasty. I'm gonna try again. I did not think that was gonna work. <laughs> hey, at least I'm laughing, right? I may suck at this game, but it's fun. This is like, it has real good replayability because it's fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be serious. Right, yes, that's the right one. Whew. Whew. All right, eh, not bad, eh? <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, oh, so you sneaky little bastard. <laughs> really cool actually yes I'm always falling to my demise aren't I <laughs> this was great fun seriously Now, how many times can he die before he gets angry or frustrated and doesn't like the game anymore? Well, it's not gonna happen yet. I will complete this game. Here we go. No problem, I just died like a gazillion times. Oh, that was close. Yeah. That's pure luck. Okay. Um, does that mean it's done? Have I completed it? Did I actually complete it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna go through quickly um, the scorecard. Yeah, the Unreal Dev scorecard. Uh, so, you know, the graphics, yeah, you know, nobody's believing that this is what you can do, uh, you know, so I'm not gonna think about the graphics, it's the Unreal Engine, so you can create amazing graphics if you want. Controllability, awesome, it was smooth as it gets, really good. Level design, I really enjoyed it, you know, it was, it gradually became harder and harder and harder, and it was just the right way of uh, frustrating, you know, and fun at the same time, so 
I suggest you create like a hundred levels for this. Uh, you know, with your own character, your own animation, your own textures, your own static meshes, skeletal meshes, you know, whatever. Uh, user interface and HUD, well, there's not so much, you know, there's actually no HUDs here, but you did create a main menu. Uh, it can get better, you know, include an options menu, perhaps some, you know, easy, medium, hard, normal game modes, you know, more or less lights. You can do a lot of things, uh, a lot of things like that. Story, well, obviously there's no story here, but perhaps you could create one. Uh, music and sound effects, um, well, you know, I enjoyed the music in the main menu, there's no music in the levels, but there are footstep sounds, so that's good. So, include some music here and some, perhaps, you know, other kinds of sounds, and that would be great. That would be great. Uh, fun enjoyment, yes. Scores top notch on fun enjoyment. I had fun and I did enjoy it. You know, this is the simplest game. Uh, I believe I've uh, reviewed up until now, but it's the most fun game, yeah, okay? Um, challenges, yes, great challenges, as I've already said. Uh, the increasing difficulty was great. Rewards, yeah, it was rewarding just, you know, managing, getting past the hindrances, and it was rewarding to have a laugh as well when I died like uh, 10 million times. Uh, so addictiveness, yes, this is addictive. You know, put this on Android or something and let this be a mobile game. That would be great. Immersion, well, you know, there's not really that much immersion here, but you get immersed when you get, like, uh, enthusiastic or frustrated or whatever because you can't get past that. Uh, and then you get past it and then you, like, you feel immersed, okay? Replayability, probably very good replayability here. So keep on doing what you do, you know. I really support this. Uh, it's awesome, and you're like, you're just 15 years. So what you'll be making in four years, you know, I'm looking forward to see that. Uh, also, before I forget, at the time when he sent me this uh, game, he also sent me uh, three pictures. Uh, from a first-person shooter game, he was uh, doing something with, you know, and as we can see, it looks a little better. So here he is actually creating the stuff himself, I believe, and it looks really good. So let's hope he sends me that game someday, and I'll try that as well. Yeah, and if you, you know viewers have anything to comment on giving some you know constructive criticism and feedback then do it and as always you are free to send me your games and i'll create videos of them mm, yes the address is right here or right there or whatever it is and yeah hope you enjoy this video and have a great day